ultimately, his success came down to this. Pete Rose was able to execute quality swings on quality pitches day in and day out, clocking into work with the blue collar mentality. What I'm talking about is mental toughness. He was tough as nails, a grinder, a competitor, and a bulldog. Here's the reality. Playing baseball is a grind. It's full of failure, pain, and injury, setbacks, and heartbreaks. But underneath it all, there's joy. Because baseball is a game and it's meant to be played. When we compete our tail off, make our teammates better, while playing the game with intent, good things happen. We get the good hop, the good pitches to hit, the call by the um goes our way. Call it karma, call it a gift from the baseball gods, or just plain mojo, momentum. If you want to excel at the highest level, you got to be tough. Then you have to know your role, limits, and constraints. Pete Rose wasn't trying to hit 40 bombs a year. The most he ever had was 16. If you want to be a great hitter, you have to learn how to drive the ball with conviction consistently without getting cheated by the fastball. Even big league power guys became great hitters first, building a foundation that allowed them to develop into power hitters. They grew into their strength. Remember, if you want to be great, be good consistently. Perform and execute. 